Hi, it's Tim. Here's how we're going to set up our charging station out in a detached driveway. I've seen many videos on YouTube of people setting up their charging stations to their garage that's built into their house or is right underneath their house. That makes it nice and easy. But what about if you're like me? What about if you have a detached driveway? What if you had to run 85 feet of 6 gauge cable to get from your breaker panel to the car? Well, this is what I did and here's what you can do. So I built this driveway last autumn. It's two layers deep of railroad ties with 25 tons of limestone in it. 21 feet by 18, enough to park two cars on. And I needed power out here to charge my car with. And here's the uh, end out here that I built. It has the 1450 outlet here. All the cables are coiled up nice and neat there, kind of, for it. And I have three quarter inch PVC running down through a trench I dug to get it back to the uh, house. I dug this trench about a foot deep. And afterwards, my electrician told me it's supposed to be 18 inches. Well, I'm not digging it again. Um, plus, I'd have to break up all this cement here. So, 12 inches is fine. Went through the entire winter, no problem. You can hardly even see the trench now. The grass are all over it. I used three quarter inch PVC pipe to run the cable through. I used a six gauge four strand cable. And if you're gonna do it, I would say, run one inch pipe because it'll be easier to slide over the cable than this three quarter inch was. Because every piece of this PVC pipe, all the angles, all the straight pieces, all had to be put down the cable at the right distance to get everything in the proper position. So instead of getting overly complicated with it and drilling holes through walls and things. I just made it the way I have it here. A couple of 90 degree bends, put it through the corner of this old door frame, and the pipe goes as far as it needs to, which is right here. The rest of the way here into the house, we got the six gauge four strand cable. And because my rafters go the wrong way, I was not about to drill holes in every one and fish this cable down through the holes. This is heavy cable, it's hard to bend. So I attached with screws some pieces of 2x2 two two wood here. And the 2x2s two go all the way down. And then I came back and I nailed the 6 gauge cable onto the side of the 2x2s. Two two and it works fine. Then, down here at the breaker panel, and uh, this is the cable coming down, going into here. And this is the old Cutler Hammer CH panels. And this 50 amp breaker is running the uh, charging out to the car. And that's all that's needed for it. You can uh, do it fancier, you can do it cheap and still have it be right. You just take your time, pay attention to detail, nail it up where you need to to get it out here. And then there you go. It's all taken care of. And you have 1450, 240 volt, 50 amp charging for your Tesla. One thing that drives me crazy is everyone who says, 110 or 115 or 220 or 230 volt power systems for your house. In America, you don't have that. You have 120 and 240 volt split phase. So get it right.